Welcome back to Small Screen, fellow soups. We've been waiting for what feels like forever for Season 3 of Amazon Prime's The Boys, and with June just around the corner, the hype is starting to grow. It was already announced by Amazon that The Boys would be getting a Season 3 before Season 2 even aired on the service back in 2020. That just showed how confident Amazon is in their new hit superhero gone bad TV show. You know the deal. Getting to the point. Algorithm gods. Like, subscribe, quack. Get on with it. Yes! Get on with it! So, why the long delay for the boys? Disney, Lucasfilm, and Marvel Studios have managed to find a way to make sure they can have a safe set. They're filming a lot of their upcoming shows using a new technology which allows them to film everything inside a closed set. This new filming technique is actually an evolution of a technique that's been in use for nearly a century in one form or another. They use special screens which display a live image behind the actors. The screens are so incredibly detailed that it looks like the actor is really in a desert or wherever he or she is supposed to be. Wow. The issue with the boys is that they might not be able to use this new technology. One of the big things about this show is that they try to make everything as practical as possible. It's also filmed in multiple locations, which means that they can't really use this sort of new technology. Hence the delay for the boys. Right. In light of production delays and length between seasons, they've produced a hilarious web show spin-off called Vought News Network 7 on 7 with Cameron Coleman. This Fox News parody is hosted by Cameron Coleman who delivers news stories from the world of the boys. According to showrunner Eric Kripke, the purpose of this web show is to bridge the gap between seasons 2 and 3. Here's what he told the rap. Since the very start of The Boys, we've seen Vought's propaganda arm, I mean, news channel, VNN. We'll be digging deeper into those fair and balanced patriots next season. So as a teaser, we're introducing 7 on 7 with VNN's biggest star, Cameron Coleman. The episodes are in-world canon, serving up brand new information that bridges the story gap between seasons 2 and 3. So enjoy the hot takes and catheter commercials just like your parents do. Which is exactly the kind of unapologetic, quality, American programming that this newscaster is anxious to see. These webisodes are amazing, free, and available on YouTube. Now let's get into what we know about season 3 of The Boys. A poster advertising the upcoming third season of The Boys teases a super-powered Billy Butcher. The brooding rogue team leader is menacing enough without superpowers, so you can bet we're in for an amped up third season. A tweet from The Boys' official account debuted the poster with the caption, Soon it'll be time to level the playing field. In the poster, Billy Butcher's eyes are glowing like a superhero's would. Could this mean Billy Butcher is about to fight fire with fire by becoming a superhero himself? You're goddamn right. This has been overwhelmingly confirmed by the Season 3 trailer, which also gives us a gory taste of what's to come in the new season, including new characters, such as Jensen Eccles as Soldier Boy, Laurie Holden as Crimson Countess, and Sean Patrick Flannery as Gunpowder. The third season of the show is coming to Prime Video very soon, on June 3rd, and we can't wait. What about you? Have you been chomping at the bit for The Boys Season 3? Do you think Billy Butcher getting superpowers by the way of V-Serum is a good thing? Or are they doing it too soon? And how much do you think Soldier Boy is gonna kick ass? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We do read all of them. And as always, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to keep up with all of our news and exclusives. Thanks for watching. See you next time.